discuss about new represent a set okay there are two methods for representing your set one is listing method that is also called as roster method second one is your rule method rule method is also called as set builder method set builder method how to first we will discuss about listing method okay what is the how to represent your listing methods whatever you are writing a sets you are giving the list list of elements in a set okay list of elements in a set what uh, what is the syntax for writing your listing method is you should write set name okay set name equal to okay it must be equal to and you should use curly braces opening and closing curly braces in this you have to write elements you have to write elements so how to write what is the syntax for writing your roster method is you should write set name is equal to all the element must be enclosed in your curly braces just take one example a set of all the letters all the letters in word in word in word mathematics 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 okay so you have to write what is the syntax i already said this is your syntax okay this is your syntax for rewriting the set in roster method what i said set name you can write any set name a b or c is equal to you have to list all the elements in your curly braces what are the elements what you are saying a set of all the letters letter what are the letters mathematics m a t h e m a t i c s okay this is called elements okay this is called elements okay it must be enclosed in your curly braces this is called braces curly braces okay this is your set name set name can be your any alphabet set name can be your any alphabet and all the element must be separated by commas all the element must be separated by comma and one more thing you should remember whenever you are using roster method for representing a set no all the letters must be unique no repetition must be there one mistake is there here t t m m a a is repeated so whenever you are using roster method when you are listing all the elements the elements must be unique no repetition must be there in a set in a set element does not do not repeat you should not repeat elements so what elements what letters you are repeating m okay you are repeating a you are repeating t so m a t h e i c e s this will be the correct form all the letters must not be repeated it must be unique okay let's discuss some more example of your roster method a set of all the days in a week okay week how many days in a week seven days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday it is well defined and distinct let's take a set of colors in a rainbow how many colors you will see okay write the name of a set you can write any alphabet and all the element must be enclosed in your curly braces no letters no alphabets must be repeated so vip gr what you will say vip gr violet indigo brown green yellow orange and red it is well defined and distinct you can write set of natural number natural number start with 1 2 3 so on okay what is your odd number 1 3 5 so on this is your odd number what is your prime number prime number 
okay you can write any set name set of prime number prime number which is divisible by 1 and itself 1 2 3 5 7 so on this is some of the example of your roster method okay let's do one problem related to your roster method b is the set of all month b is nothing but your set name all months in a year having 30 days okay we have to write all the months that contains only 30 days write the above set in your roster form roster form is nothing but your universal form so what is your answer b b is your set name okay equal to in which month you will get 30 days april april may june september and november okay this will be the answer for writing in roster form okay our next is your rule method or set builder method just take an example a set of whole number between 0 to 10,000 0 to 10,000 using listing method listing method means you have to list each and every items in your set in 0 to 10,000 means your list uh, will be very much longer so it is not practical it is not practical for that reason rule method was came into existence we are using rule method or set builder method instead of using listing method what you are instead of writing all the elements in the set what you are doing you are building a particular set you are not listing all the element you are just building a particular set using username how you will what is the syntax for writing set builder name so a equal to equal to just curly braces what is the syntax of writing set compulsory set name must be there equal to and all the element must be enclosed in your curly braces so you are you are building a method means x such that x belongs to w okay where 0 is less than x x is less than 10,000 okay x is less than 10,000 close your curly braces what is your a a is the name of set name of set okay x what is this symbol such that such that what is the symbol e this is belongs to belongs to what you are saying x x value must be 0 to 10,000 any value it must be then x such that x x belongs to w what is your w w is a whole number whole number begins from 0 ok what you are saying 0 is less than x means 0 it must list the range means x must be 1 2 3 up to 10,000 up to 10,000 what is the symbol means between 0 to between 0 to 10,000 all the elements will be included you can write x such that x instead of that you can write colon x colon x okay there are two method either you can write colon or this symbol slash okay this is your rule method okay you will use belongs to if suppose any x if you are describing x equal to 11,000, 11,000, is 11,000 is here? Not. So, you can use this symbol, does not belongs to, okay, does not belongs to. These two things you should keep in mind, you should keep in mind, belongs, it belongs to. If any element is not belonging to any set, you can use this symbol. let's do one problem related to your set builder method write the set builder form of a equal to 1 comma 1 upon 4 1 upon 9 1 upon 16 1 upon 25 in all my videos i am explaining you the important questions that will help you that will 
mostly comes in your final exam ok. Let us do what is a ok 1 1 upon 4 1 upon 9 1 upon 6 1 upon 25 1 upon 1 1 upon 4 1 upon 9 1 upon 6 1 upon 25 or in the form of uh, what is in the form of form of 1 upon p square where as p is less than 6 observe it p square 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 5 square 25 ok it is less than 5 ok 1 to 5 you are squaring you will get this so you have to write in set builder form so a equal to day x such that x equal to 1 upon p square where p belongs to natural number because it is starting from 1. So, we are giving natural number and and what you have writing condition that p is less than 6 up to 5 all the numbers you are squaring. This is your set builder method.